What's up people, what's up? So uh, we're here, we're excited. I got some new products I wanna show you. So uh, you guys can see right behind me, I have some new lights, uh, company sheds. Send me uh, some moving heads that they want me to demo. So I'm excited uh, to show you guys uh, these lights. I'm uh, sorry about the echo, I'm here in my garage right now. There was, um, I was gonna do it out in the patio, but it started pouring, so it's a nice rainy day today. What's up people, what's up? Uh, so I have uh, another type of video, a different video today. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you guys some lights that I just got. I'm gonna demo them to you guys. I'm excited for that. I'm also wanna uh, give a big shout out to Shed's Lighting. They sent me a couple of movie heads for me to try and to see what I think and also to give my honest opinion. So with that said, let me turn the camera around and show you guys, uh, let me see what we got right here for you guys. Okay, so we have one ready. We're gonna go through the menu, but we're also gonna open up the other one. <laughs> Just kidding. That one I already took it out too, as you guys saw, I already did a couple of events with them. Let me uh, put them both of them together, and we're gonna go through the menu and all the goggles and the color wheel. So looking on the back, you have your uh, power in. Again, you use the power con for that. You also have output out, DMX in, DMX out and your uh, on and off button. On the front, let me show you guys that too. Give me a second. So for the front, you have your LED screen. Uh, you, this is where you control everything. And we're gonna go through that right now. So let's plug them in and let's get them started. All right, so let's go through the LCD screen into the menu. This is uh, where you navigate everything. Your system, your advanced, your reset, anything you need to do to it. If you need to change the DMX number, click on that. Right here, run mode, you want it on DMX or do you want it on sound active? If you put on sound active, enter. And it's already moving. Just have it on sound. This will be the last resource in case, you know, something happens to your DMX controller or whatever you normally use. But I will go to that later. So right now I'm gonna go back up and put it on DMX. Right here, if you need to change the DMX address, adjust it up and down. Hopefully you guys can see okay here. We have it on 16 channel mode. If you need to adjust or invert your pan and tilt, you will do that here. Again, if you want to do everything by yourself here manually, dimmer, anything else. See how it moves if you adjust it here. Go back. I'm gonna go back out of here a little so you can see what it's doing by itself. So let's see if I click on here. Again, this is if you want to do manual. All right, so uh, let's go through the rest of the stuff and show you all the goggles and color wheel. This is just a info. If you wanna advance, if you wanna change the language, you will do that right here, or a complete reset. We're gonna be using my DMX Go to control the lights. Uh, you, can, you can use any controller for DMX that you have, whatever you, don't, you normally use, whatever you're used to. And if you don't know uh, any type of uh, DMX program yet, they're pretty easy to learn. 
I've been using this one for a while. I've been using also uh, my DMX 2.0, 3.0, but I believe uh, you can always uh, set this on uh, at the beginning, set them on sound mode or on auto mode, and they will do a great job as well. Or manual mode, if you need to set up a spot, just go to the menu and set up a spotlight with the man uh, with the display there. All right, so we're gonna go through the goggles and the color right now. And we're gonna start with, see you have the regular red, green, blue. So I'm gonna go a little bit fast. I'm going here with, um, once again, I'm using my DMX Go. And let's grab a little bit. You have your regular yellow and the purple. And you have the ones that are in between. And you can also make them go fast. For most people, this is normal. I mean, people that have uh, moving heads, they know how this stuff works. But uh, also, let's go, it does have two different uh, gobble wheels. Let's go through the first one. Let me focus, you can also focus. You see how it's not focused right there? You can adjust it to make it nice and clear. Nice. You can focus as much as you want on this thing or back the other way. And let's continue with the gobos. You got that one. I like, I like the, actually one of my favorites, the sun right here. And of course you have the spinning gobos. Not spinning, kind of like the cycling through the gobos. That's one. Let's go back to the other gobo wheel. And let's focus that one too. So it is a different gobo wheel, so it does have to use a different focus here. That was a nice one. I actually do like this one. And let me tell you guys which other one I like. Let me go back to the beginning. I like that, this one too. Oh, so you have your gobo spinning. You can uh, spin the gobos here. So let me go through one of them. And you can select how fast you want it to spin. Or to the other side. And now we're gonna go to the prism, which is one of my favorites. And you can make it also spin or go uh, slow as you can. Make it go faster. For me, I like using this very slow one for, you know, slow dances. You can add some color to it. And if we can add another, so another thing that I like on this, let me show you guys. So uh, it's the, you can combine goggles. So let's say you wanna combine this one right here, right? Focus that one. And you wanna come add another one. You open the other gobble wheel. Look at the, um, the sun with the triangle there. That looks pretty good, right? Now make it a prism. That's amazing, I like it. And again, you can mess around as much as you want. You can add color to it. Let me turn on the other light so it's not so bright here. And we can try a different gobble. Look, again, the sun with the mixture right there. But let me actually 
bring a different gobo onto this. That one with and then make the gobo spin. What about that one? What do you guys think of that one? The squares with the spinning, uh, kind of like a fan, um, fan. So again, use your imagination, but I do like this. And of course, you can also move your moving heads left or right, whatever you want, to make a nice uh, light show. So I don't want to take this video any longer. I know it's already pretty long hit this video. And thanks again to Shed's Lighting. I'll give you guys my input right now and I'll show you a couple of videos, uh, events that I've done. You can get as creative as you want with this. How sick is that? All right, so hopefully you guys like this uh, light. I am liking them so far. I do recommend them. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, so before I forget, I almost forgot. I was gonna show you the ring. It also has LED uh, ring right here that you can uh, control. And let me show you guys that how that works. So you also can control it with your uh, DMX. So with that one, you can do a couple of different shows. I'm just kind of going up the fader here, so it kind of does its own thing. Cycles through different colors. which is actually a pretty cool uh, light show on its own. All right, so this is my final opinion of the lights. Uh, let me know what you guys think also. At the end, comment, subscribe, hit the like button for new subscribers. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the lights. So far, I do like them personally. I will post a couple of videos uh, from previous events that I've done. I was able to DMX them and pretty much, you know, do a nice uh, spotlight for the uh, first dance. Uh, I did another one for the father-daughter dance. So everything's um, they're nice and bright. So like I said, I do like them, and um, I'm excited to try them at more events. And um, again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.